the map out on here. I mean, everyone's moving as a bunch right this Also, is, there's a pretty good chance it hectic. could be chaos. It, there's a good chance that things could get chaotic. Oh, my God. It's so funny. So, guys, first map, it was 50-50 split. And then on the second map, we saw some hot dropping on each other. On this third map, it seems like even more of an exaggerated situation Um compared to the second. We've got a big cluster here in the center yeah. of the map and then even more um, just slightly south. But we do have those breakaway groups like you just pointed out to me on the screen, Toby, to the north. There are a lot of people in boot camp and seemingly right now this could be the break that the Finnish team needs because they're clearly in number here. I mean, they clearly... What do they have? Two or three times the amount of players. And well, I mean, if they can take down just five, six well, players right here off the bat, that could be, uh, that could be helping them out. Fin uh, Finland play Finland's already down? Or maybe disconnected. I don't know. Could be a thing. It's yeah. a thing. In, uh, sometimes people disconnect. That could be an issue. But um, but they are, I mean, they are clearly... Oh, my God. Clearly on the fire. But as we say that, though, two knocks coming in return. Misa and Muka taking down immediately. Anonymous going down, too. So trading three for one. That's a pretty good start off for the Turkish team. Yeah, the Turkish team are putting in a lot of work early. The, the 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 pace of this one within two minutes we're seeing groups of of both teams yeah. going at it and it's it's Turkey that are gaining an advantage digger there returning a knock onto Huth Pat QTs with the with the complete kill on on digger this is interesting I mean you can see as well you see where Andy is positioned right now is in pine and really the water splitting the entire city up or town up down there he also has a bit of a confrontation going on early so as we talked about earlier with like you go west we go east and we saw game two kind of confrontation and this is just one big like this is one big one big this melting is battle royale this is nation's is. royale it is there is absolutely no prepping in this one and when it comes to where people go they're all on top of each other Andy has been sniffed out by Vasago and his teammate. They definitely are aware of him in that building, looking up through the windows. We jump on now with Uniton. Oh, now to Anne. Okay. Uh, oh, so that's like texture pop in there. But no, he was shooting out of the window. Put some damage down onto a Turkish player. I mean, to see Finland be down by this much, this early on, considering how hardly they outnumbered the opponents early, in um, in boot camp, that's pretty Ooh. insane to me. Now they do seem some kills Triple coming knot. in return. Yep, damage coming in return for sure. But they're continuously responding. Look at that doctor. He goes down, sure, but he took down two in return. Yeah, this is. I mean, it's hard to keep up with to an extent. This is action packed. <laughs> Timo there making a push onto Anil. I'm not going to pronounce that in another way because it could come off very that's very wrong. One of those bait names. <laughs> it does right? seem like a bait name, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Twenty-seven to twenty-three now. Things are closing. Oh, this is very intense. How many people do we have in here on each team? It looks roughly about maybe six to eight on both teams in this boot camp area. Um, it, they're, they're split. They're, they're, yeah, they're looking they have, at each other through some complex angles there, building to building. They have kind of been divided as well, so it seems like the uh, the border has kind of been found <laughs> in all of that. <laughs> this is like watching like... Uh, um, I, I, just like a, it's like a public game. A public lobby of any yeah. sort of shooter where people are just going at it. They, 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 they could fighting. respawn, right, with how fast they're, they're taking each other out. I mean, we complimented both teams for their each their sort of strategic like approach to what's going on, but this time around it just seems like chaos. Yeah, what's funny though, even though Finland is slightly behind, in terms of what we've seen in the first two maps, this is favoring Finland because yeah. the scoreline is a lot tighter, and now we're almost... Even. I mean, they were down 22 to 31, and now it's 21 to 20. So great comeback for Finland when it comes to the numbers. But of course, nothing's over yet. And the guys that somehow are still alive here in... Uh... Oh, we gotta connect those bullets. Gotta connect them, Lassa. Oh, dude, if you whiff... Uh, that's not good. Oh, he, he is he, down. He got, he got help. He got help. He got help. Yeah. He got help. But Lassa... Lars are whiffing you a bit. Not, you might not be, be in this one for the next uh, oh, season two. But Uniton's help, Spicy Dog 69 has been knocked as well. Natsa mm -hmm. presumably mm -hmm. will pick him up. Uniton is going to be completely killed. 20 to 19 now. This is fast paced action. Also, one thing to compliment here, Smashbury and Rita that we see on the screen, they play on the same team on a daily basis. So Which they clearly, uh, Smash Bay and uh, Rita, we see them right okay. here running further up towards with Lassa as well. They play on the team together competitively Ooh, normally, right? Look at so this that's, push. Uh, that's going to allow for them to incorporate what they do normally in competitive play together. Rita there was leading the charge. She was not afraid to push up on Timo and Natsa. 
They're sort of locked down the building. We see Mitch Raelius really pushing in, maybe to flush them out for his teammates in the background. And it is paying off the way Turkey are approaching things now. The Finnish numbers are dropping in force. 19 <laughs> to 14. The gap extends slightly. We're under six minutes into the game. We've already killed half the server. I mean, this is absolutely insane and nothing, nothing I've seen before. But I said it coming into this, the winners of boot camp are the winners of the game and seems like they're taking that very much for the oh, word. Oh, Seneki with the complete kill on Vasago. Marco tries to return. He doesn't know what's going on. He's just jumped over a player. Then spins around, lands a wow. great shot onto Peltzig. Puts him down completely and revives his, te his teammate. 18 to 11. This is tight. But we've got a flank coming in now. Natsar is the only one remaining in that boot camp how, area. How, how in the universe did Turkey win boot camp? They were outnumbered at least by three. Yeah. At least three but times the fewer players. Maybe this was some sort of play. Yes, Andy there with oh, two oh, yeah. kills. They had this other force there mm -hmm, in the southern mm -hmm. area, um, Pai, Pai Nan, um, and they, they've sort of caught some of the Turkish players off guard. 16 to 11 now is this sort of off break from the team going to rally and take out the final Turkish 16. Yep, this could be the break they need. They are down by five still, but, uh, well, they need to get something going, because they were down, then they made it back, but then all of a sudden, out of nowhere came the position. Oh, teammate, teammate, Andy, teammate, that's your teammate Andy! He was like, oh, oh, just testing, just testing oh. out the weapon. I'm a captain, I'm allowed to do this. Yeah, that's uh, that's not that's not how we, that yeah that's that's not proper warfare. Oh no, and they've they've not flushed out. Uh, I mean, he didn't Gava. die. He didn't die. So no, no, I mean not that much. Harm no, done. I know Maybe some some per, some, some spiritual harm done, but uh... antsy, <laughs> feeling a bit antsy. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Did you prepare these or are they nope. just, like they're just natural? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm I'm loving it. I mean, just I'm coming off it. the top. And <laughs> <laughs> do you, are, they, are, they, are they still aware that Gava is there? Are they going to leave him? Because that could be a critical error. Yeah, it's going to be... Oh, uh, and he's going to be able to provide a lot of info for his team oh, that man. so many players are making their way out of here. And I don't think... Check your corners! Yeah, you want to clear all those buildings. You especially, clear all especially when we've had such a big firefight going on. And if he can somehow get behind these guys, not fight them at any point, oh, but just no. continuously tell where they're going, that's going to be so important for the Turkish team because they're up in numbers. And if they can move around as one unit and know exactly exactly where these guys are going to be kind of coming in from. Uh, that could be a 3-0 um, a three, three for Turkey. Yeah, I feel like that... I mean, I don't know exactly. You'll know a lot better than me, but it seems like a critical error to have not cleared the potential areas where... Because yeah. the they were looking for a player there. They knew that there was someone around. Mm. Um and they, they 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 seem to have just missed him. In all, in, in all fairness, though. Well, did they did they did they know? Or maybe he was hiding from the start, and they they yeah were, maybe they never saw him. Yeah, yeah, that could they, be a thing. And yeah. there there's so many teams, so many players Sneaky. landing. It's not it's not like that usual four v four. Where okay, we need yeah. one more. We'll kill him, then we'll move. This is it's a little harder to really get the uh, the bigger picture, especially if we haven't spotted anyone out early. Turbo Banani with the kill onto Slippy Zerg. Fiex God now. Oh, with a oh, great wow. shot there. That's a head shot. Mithrain under heavy fire. He, I think he was the one that was on the end of that sniper shot. Yeah, and he just popped his last bandage too. He does not have any more meds whatsoever. Oh, look, look, look at look at the mini map. And he's circling back, and he's getting very close to. Mm -hmm. I think that must be mm -hmm. um, uh, Gavar. Um, uh, oh, the last the last player coming out there. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, oh, he gets taken 14, down. 11. That's like when you played Stratego and you had one little guy that went all the way around yeah. the back to capture the flag. Right, that would oh, be insane if he goes down here. Gavar um, uh, Amet. Could make such a huge play here. Yeah. If he if he has been the sneaky boy that we that we believe he has. I'm pretty sure what we're looking at here is the entire remaining force of Finland. Like I think these are the final players from Finland, and they're getting completely swamped right now. Oh, they're getting crushed from the, from the east as well. We've got a thousand, de yeah. thousand days. Gava Amet there with the drop with, with the with the drop onto Andy. Was the guy but he has revealed himself. Nate, sir, though, looking to pick up a double on the right hand side. Can't see if he's got that. Sunker takes out Shish. 12 to 10. Yeah, and Finland, they're coming back on this one. I mean, honestly, things were going very much in the way of Turkey, but somehow the Finnish Natsa team are holding them off. Them. Yep, yep, Natsa is coming in from very far off. He could be taking out two players. Should be able to get the angle, but Jansky with a nade straight on the face. Not a whole lot you can do to counter that. Oh, wow. Natsa, I don't know how he's in the position he's in. 
a night quill. <laughs> There's the Phil flanky out. boy. <laughs> flanky boy. The flanky boy from the mid. The flanker is coming in. Oh, it's no. going to be too late, though. Oh. That's the thing. 12 v 6. They need your help and they need it right now. Yes, they do. 12 to 5. At a two to one disadvantage, man for man. Yeah. Oh, and I think it's actually V2 because it doesn't count Nux. And as you can see, Lowe's is down, uh, Stratus is down. And I think it's only February and Nickel, the two flankers. And Natsa, Natsa is going to go down now as well. So two, the flank is alone now. The flankers V12. How do you do this? Oh, that's one flanker down. I think it's all over. February, 1v12. 1v12. It's on you, buddy. This is the flank. This is the flank that never came. Gandalf never came with the horses when the king needed him. Mm. And now you're set to fight it on your own. <laughs> God damn Gandalf. God damn it, Gandalf. Where was that? Where was the hell? Everybody, that is GG February. Wow.